What's up, everybody? Matt of Trades here coming at you with another back testing day trading video. We are going to be using the same strategy that we used um, yesterday when we were back testing November 9th. So 500 tick, MACD uh, indicator, and the 200 EMA. Um, again, for those of you who are new, this is the MES futures chart. Um, and kind of the goal here is to basically we're all learning how to day trade futures. I go back and uh, back test some different strategies, trying to learn how to get good at this. And hopefully you can learn a couple things um, by watching this video. So without further ado, uh, let's get to it. So basically the strategy here is we're doing two contracts. Each contract is worth $5. Um, for each each point here, uh, we have one contract that will get that has a limit of one point, so that if it does turn into a loss, um, it doesn't hurt as bad. And then the other one will continue to run to our target, hopefully. All right, <clears throat> let's see if we can go forward and see if we can find um, find some trades here. And what we're looking for is uh, an um, a trend in either direction. And we want to see across. Let's see if we can see one here. So right here, for example, clear downtrend. Uh, we want to see the MACD line cross the signal line um, above this zero line right here, and we'll that would be a short trade. And then the opposite if we wanted to go long. So it looks like right now it is looking trending upward, but that could obviously change. So let's. Go ahead and move forward, see what we can do here. All right, so it's pretty choppy, not looking to do anything. All right, so we're in a downtrend, so now we're waiting for this line to cross the zero line here before we do anything, okay? And very important to wait for this line to actually cross, so it hasn't quite crossed yet. There it is, I think, yep, yep. So now we're going to do a short, trade here and the risk reward ratio is going to be 1.5 to 1 and we let's zoom in a little bit here we would enter this trade right here we'll set our stop just above right there and let's see what happens and that would have been a losing trade so let's calculate that Right there, let me just zoom in a little more. Why does this seem so off? Anyway, so this would be 10, 20, 30, um, 35, 33, 75 is what we lose here. Okay. Keep track on our calculator. Let's uh, go forward, see if we can find another trade. Oh, that's why it's so hard. Let's see, okay. All right. Now we're in an uptrend, it looks like. No, nope, no. Nope. All right, uptrend. And you know what? Ah. Uh, I probably may have cheated a little bit because we passed it, but in real time, we probably would have taken this trade, would have gone long. So it's going right there, stop right there. And that would have been a winning trade. Now we have two contracts here. So this is worth 10, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. Plus 75, so now we're at $41.25 in the green. And let's go forward and find our next trade opportunity, which is right here. So sentiment is still up, trending upward. So let's take this trade. We're going to go long again. And we'll set our stop right here. And again, this is a 1.5 to 1 ratio, so our targets are further than our stops. So theoretically, our, our uh, winners should be larger on average than our losers. Let's see what happens here. 
Mm, looks like we're close. And right there. Let's see, let's see adjust. So right there. Actually. Sure. Okay. Right there is where we would have won this trade. And uh, it would have been worth 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 82 and a half. So plus 82.5. So now we're up $123. And we're only three, sorry, three, three trades in. And uh, we're only in about a little two hours into the trading day, which is good news. Let's see if we can continue the trend here of winning. So we might get another opportunity here. So I'm not going to take this trade. Um, sentiment is down. We are getting a long signal right here. However, the overall trend is down, so we're not going to do anything there. You never like to see this chop around the 200 EMA. And again, this 200 EMA is a very important line. Um, no matter what uh, time frame or chart you're looking at, it's always going to act as a natural line of support or resistance. So keep that in mind. Let's just look for our next trade. So downtrend now. So now we're going to see if this crosses. No. So again, this is why I think it's very important to wait for the actual cross. Because um, if you see the momentum going down right here and you think, all right, it's going to cross and you preemptively get into the trade, you'll see it go down and then, as you can see here, it just shoots right up. So it's one of those situations you're going to be glad you didn't jump the gun. So we're in an uptrend again. So we'll wait for... Uh, we're not going to take this trade because we're well below the 200 EMA here. Sharp drop. Now we're just looking at some choppy chop. Some choppy choppy. Which, pretty choppy. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, this is actually uh, today's chart. So it's 11.11. Um... And it's 150, so we might even get to a little bit of live stuff in just a bit here. But it looks like we're not going to really have anything to trade. I'm not seeing anything. Um, at least I think this is the 11th. Huh? Oh. No, guess not. This must be the 10th. So we would have stopped trading about right here. 2 o'clock, 1400. Um, it's when the market's officially closed. Then you get into aftermarket, and that's when markets tend to do weird things. So I don't try to back test during after hours because it's not quite as consistent, I've, I've found. So... Uh, we didn't take too many trades today uh, in this back testing section. However, in fact, how many trades did we take? So we only took we only took three trades, which is okay. And with that, we gained $123.75 just with three trades. Let me just double check what day. Okay, yeah, so this is November 10th. Yeah, so three trades, $123.75. And also keep in mind if we were trading the ES S&P 500 chart rather than the MES, each one of these little lines is actually worth $50 per contract rather than five. Um, so if we were doing that, all we do to calculate what our profit would have been if we were trading the more expensive chart, we'd move the decimal over. So would have actually had a $1,237.50 profit. 
which is pretty good for, you know, three trades. But I'm not made out of that kind of money, so I like to uh, uh, practice on the less expensive chart. Well, folks, if you liked uh, the content here, if you want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe. Until next time.